Speaker. I call Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it, it is a privilege to uh, be able to speak on uh, these treaty settlement bills. And the other thing I think is a great privilege is that, as the previous speaker, Nanaima Huta, suggested, it's very seldom the whole House agrees on everything we do. And, and I think that's one of the things I really enjoy about the treaty settlement process, is that, is that we get to a point where we agree. And, and I want to make one other point about the treaty settlement process and for, for those who, um, who go into this negotiation process. Because when you think about it, you must go in there with huge trepidation because you're really negotiating on, on behalf of every generation that follows you. And I think that's the thing that really, um, I think, is amazing because you're pretty, pretty brave to do that. And to get to a point where you settle, I think, is amazing. So I too want to warmly welcome all members of Ngāti Tūwhare Toa who have come all the way to Wellington today. And believe me, I know how far it is, because I've got to be in uh, Taumaranui first thing in the morning, and you can't fly there. Uh, it's a long way. Um, so, so I think you're pretty special. That so many of you have come down here. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, as the Minister and uh, um, um, Andrew Dittle and, on, and the Honourable Chris Finlayson have said, that, and many others have too, it's a historic day for both the Crown and for uh, Tūwhare Tā. And I think it's an amazing amount of work goes into these things. And, and I'm not going to go back in history and, t and talk about too much of the history of this because uh, that's been mentioned by so many people today. But I, but I do want to talk about the uniqueness of, of your place. And, uh, and I think that uh, there's no other part of New Zealand that's been invaded or infiltrated by a couple of million uh, effectively foreigners every year who traipse through your territory and, and the most beautiful part of New Zealand. And, and I was thinking when Shane Jones was talking before, there's a great opportunity for you to go and see him and get a bit of the poo here. He's hanging, handing out round New Zealand <laughs> and take it back to Two Whare Tower because he's clearly got plenty of it. But, but, um, but when you think about the massive tourism industry, which of course wasn't there 100 years ago, uh, there is some significant challenges in, in your part of New Zealand that, that are caused by that uh, uh, tourism industry, which is pretty amazing. I, I want to talk about one or two other things too because you effectively supply power for half of the North Island. Uh, not only that, they then introduced a whole lot of fish, which ate the fish that you like to eat. But the interesting thing, or the, or the frustrating thing for me about those fish is that they'd be beautifully beautiful if we could farm them. We don't farm them. Let's get on and farm the fish that, that live in your place. I, mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so there's some interesting things about you. And the other thing I wanted to particularly mention was, was the timber industry. And if you look at the timber industry of the central North Island, uh, it's, um, uh, I could use a fairly strong term, but I probably won't. But it's effectively been raped and pillaged for the first hundred years of our, of our um, coexistence in New Zealand. And it's, and it's not until you see the remnants of that amazing bush left there that you realise how majestic it must have been 150 years ago. So there's some interesting things that I think have happened in, in your part of New Zealand that probably haven't had, uh, impacted on other people to nearly anywhere near the same uh, uh, Point. Um, Minister, uh, um, on, the Honourable Chris Finiston uh, talked about the overlapping claims, and many of those overlapping claims uh, are, are right in the area that uh, both um, our uh, speaker at the moment, Adrian Ruruffi, and I uh, share a lot of the representation of. And, and there's a number of those claims still to be settled, and I think that that will be hugely positive. And I look forward to the time, and I don't imagine I'll see it, but I look forward to the time when they're all settled, because I think they'll be pretty amazing. Uh, it will make a difference to what happens in our part of the world, and it will be very significant for all of us. So I think that's the thing that's really, um, I think it's exciting. So I want to congratulate you on the, on the immense amount of work that's gone into getting to the point you've got to. I want to congratulate you on uh, bringing such a great contingent down to Wellington today. And I think the other special thing about uh, uh, you all coming here is this place is our place effectively, and I think it's so cool that these things are done with so many people from around New Zealand coming into the, into the Parliament to witness it happening. So, Mr Speaker, that's my lot, and I, I just want to um, fully support and endorse the process and hope that we can get a whole lot more uh, of this process done uh, under Minister Little in the next uh, couple of years. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I call Larissa Wall.